Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys. And there's quite a few reasons for it. Um, sorry. The main reason is that I've been keeping a secret. <laughs> um, and it's actually a pretty big secret, but, um, now that we've gone and we've told our family and I've posted this on social media, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know. Um... I guess it's time to share with you guys and I'm actually pretty excited to share with you guys so um pregnant <laughs> we are expecting baby number three in August I am due August 20th I'm actually 15 weeks and three days currently and um yeah so I'm in this second trimester I guess yeah I'm in the second trimester now so we felt like we needed to wait to tell everybody until we'd had an ultrasound just because I do have fibromyalgia and hypothyroidism and so like so many things going on health wise and I knew that I'd be high risk so I wanted to make sure that I addressed that and like you know saw the doctor got my ultrasound you know made sure everything was looking good before I shared the news with everybody so I've known since about three days before Christmas <laughs> Basically, I was just feeling nauseous and tired and like dizzy and I wasn't feeling right and I knew I had missed my period which is actually not uncommon for me because of the fibromyalgia and everything. Um, my cycle's been off for quite a while now but I always track it. So I waited until um, my period was, I'm gonna say, two weeks late I think. And then I went ahead and tested and I just took a cheapy dollar store test and I actually went to the Dollar Tree with my kids and I bought I think four of them. I took one and I was gonna, I was like oh I'm gonna film a live pregnancy test but then I was like I can't wait I've just gotta film it, I just gotta pee on the stick right now. So I did and it was positive and then I was like okay that can't be right. So then I took another one. And it was also positive. I was obviously not expecting it to be positive. So I called my husband, he was at work, and I was just like, are you sitting down? <laughs> he was like, yeah, I work at a desk. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm pregnant. And he was like, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> so he kind of had an inkling. Um, we weren't trying, but we were definitely not preventing either. It was just kind of a, it's in God's hands type situation. Um, we are happy to have another family member. We, we, we feel like we're ready at this point, so we're good with it. Um, so me and him kept this secret for quite a while, which was very hard because the first trimester, even the second trimester, but the first trimester especially was very, very, very hard on me. Um, nausea just took over. I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't smell anything. The foods I could tolerate, I could only tolerate for like two days and then I just couldn't. Um, I was dizzy, I was tired, I was in pain. It was pretty bad. Um, luckily I had two weeks off of school right after I found out so it was good to have, you know, some time not off of actual school but off of work school because as you guys know I work at the school. I'm a paraprofessional so it was good for me then, but then once I went back to work, it was really hard on me. Um, just everything. My entire body just ached, and I was just nauseous all the time. I couldn't take any smells, which is really hard when you work in a public school. I mean, in any school, you're surrounded by different kids and different foods and just things. It was not easy. We had our first appointment. Well, I went to my first appointment. It's just a regular appointment. They didn't look for the baby's heartbeat, which kind of worried me, but um, I just kind of went with it. They checked everything out. They said everything looked good. They checked my HCG levels. They said those looked good. So I wasn't worried at that point. Um, but again, still very cautious because, you know, the first trimester is scary, especially really, really early on. So then I just, you know, held off quite a bit. Um, still didn't tell the kids. This is January, um, and then February 8th we had our first ultrasound. Um, my husband came with me to this appointment and we had our ultrasound and baby was moving. Baby is active. 
very active, measuring right on schedule with what I said. I'm um, due August 20th, which is also our wedding anniversary, which is pretty exciting. So um, baby looked healthy, measuring well, moving around, so we were good. I'm 15 weeks, 3 days. Baby is the size of a large navel orange right now. And um, craving-wise, I crave just random things at random times. So I, um, like the other day I really wanted a cheeseburger with extra pickles, so my husband got me that. My husband's really good about getting me the things I crave, so that's awesome. Um, I definitely can't do any seafood. I don't like the smell, but on top of the smell, um, it makes me sick. I had salmon the one day from O'Charlie's and it made me really sick, so I can't do seafood. Um, I can't do, like, um, like tomato sauce, like red like pasta sauce, um, like for spaghetti or spaghetti and meatballs. I can't. Like, the smell makes me sick. Um, so I have quite a few food aversions, just random things at random times, but, um, things I am liking, I do like to have hamburgers and cheeseburgers, steak is really good. Um, for a while I was on a potato kick, now I'm kind of, uh, um, I will say that I do, I would prefer red meat over just chicken and stuff now, like, I really like the, the idea of sausage and, um, steak and burgers and things like that that appeals to me a lot more than like chicken does right now um what else i'm still nauseous 24 7 unless i eat about every 30 minutes i want to say so in the classroom i have like little bites of snacks here and there i've kind of gotten myself on a schedule where um i leave the house i have orange juice in the morning with some sort of breakfast so whether it be oatmeal a breakfast bar um i'll have like bread like french bread i'll like toast it up with and i'll put some butter on it something like that i have that in the morning so that's around like 6 45 to 7 and then um come like eight o'clock well i'll say 7 45 eight o'clock i'll eat a banana um and then, like, you know, every half hour I'll, like, take a bite of something or something. But I do find that if I'm very nauseous, um, mints help a lot. And in the beginning of my pregnancy, it was Mentos. Like, I don't want anything else but Mentos. And now I cannot stand them. <laughs> Even the thought of them makes me feel sick. So, um, right now I'm on an Altoids kick. <laughs> it's just weird. Um, just random things with this baby and with this pregnancy. Um... Body change wise, I definitely have a little bump, but as you can probably tell, I am a plus size girl, so I'm heavy set. So I think I notice the bump, me well, my husband and I notice the bump a lot more than anybody else would just because I know my body. Um, but I am, I do have to buy maternity pants. Um, I have one pair of work pants that I'm wearing right now that are actually, they had elastic, they're stretchy slacks. So they're really good right now because they're not tight. But like any of my pants that have buttons and like fit me really well are too tight and uncomfortable just to sit at my desk or anything with. Um, so I have bought, let's see, four pairs of maternity pants, um, two of which are jeans. <laughs> but um, so I do need to go shopping for maternity pants and you know, I'm just waiting right now because Georgia weather is weird and right now we're kind of entering spring. Well, we are entering spring. I'm pretty sure spring will be on time. It's a little bit early, actually. It was very warm this past weekend and um, we had one cold day, which was yesterday, and it rained and then today has been warm as well. So I'm pretty sure spring's here. So um, I'm going to need to be shopping more for like spring. And I'm thinking a lot of my maxi skirts and stuff, which are all like stretchy material, will work fine. So I don't want to go out and spend too much money on maternity clothes, especially since the bulk of my pregnancy will be in the summer, where I'll probably be wearing like my skirts. And then if I need to get some shorts, I'll probably just get like cotton shorts or something like that because I'll be home for the summer since I teach. So that's basically where I am with that. Um, I haven't gained much weight. As a matter of fact, I lost quite a bit of weight in the first trimester. Um, and at my last appointment, I had I was up one pound from the previous appointment. And at that appointment, I was down 
I think seven pounds from the appointment prior to that, which was my pregnancy confirmation appointment. So I, um, I lost weight. I gained one pound. I don't think I'm going to gain much weight during this pregnancy just because eating is not my favorite thing to do. So I'm eating like really small snacks here and there. And when I eat meals, they're small as well. Yeah, the kids are really excited, so you'll see their reaction in the next video, and you'll see some of my family's reaction in the next video. So I will show you guys here the announcement that I posted on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I planned to do this whole cute pregnancy reveal for YouTube, but that didn't work out, obviously, so I decided I'd just sit down and chat with you guys. And, yeah, so um, not much else. I'm just making sure I'm drinking my water, um, on iron pills, and my um, prenatals, and just trying to make it through the hard times and hope that the nausea and everything subsides soon. Um, the food aversions and things like that. Um, because I don't like being the one that has to have a special meal made for them, but a lot of, a lot of the times I do. And um, cooking is really hard for me, which stinks really bad because I love to cook, but it's really hard for me right now just because of smells and textures and things. I'm just nauseous naturally, I guess. Um. Um, that's what's going on. So as if you noticed, I changed my channel name to just my first and last name, Delise Crespo. And um, we're going to keep it as that. And my channel will now change quite a bit because before it was all stay-at-home mom stuff and stuff about just life with two kids. And now we will be, talk we will be doing pregnancy updates and we will be... Um, talking about being a teacher and this whole process and being a working mom but I still want to share you know cleaning videos and recipe videos and all that type of content with you because that's just the stuff I enjoy so be on the lookout for our next few videos and I will see you guys soon thanks for watching guys bye